everybody welcome to this little arcade and my name is ricardo on this episode i want to talk to you about um uh whenever you repair a board and as uh, all of us you know sometimes you know our vision goes a little bit you know a little blurry you know because as the older you get and the the harder sometimes it gets when it comes to a scene very small chips and trying to solder small points and everything and it gets hard um like i'll give you an example you know when it comes to uh um an arcade board you want to um you know i have i wear glasses you know into the point um even i get to the I try to use these guys these are the you know standard you know micro you know magnifying glass and they do kind of work you know and everything but Sometimes I really want to get like real in detail, real hands-free. That's not in the way because it's always, yeah, you, you can I can actually have this in here, but I I can't move around and everything. So what I want to do is um, I have actually purchased uh, digital microscope. And the thing works great, uh, but my problem is that, yeah, I can get close to it, and as you can see, I can easily zoom in and, you know, get real close to it if I want to get into, you know, I want to look at the... get into more detail you can actually see that it it does uh, let me see if I can you know it does a it does a good job when it comes to uh, looking into the um, the my uh, microscope the problem is that I only have a small window like I cannot go all the way back the the plate you know the the placement is too small so I cannot do you know a full arcade I have to move everything around I have to go this way but if I want to see the middle I can't because it's on the way and it's and it's hitting the bottom area so I've been thinking what can I do? What can I do for something like that? I've been uh, tinkering around and I found a solution. So I went to Amazon and I ordered um, the microphone stand. And though, you know, cheap $15, you know, microphone stand, simple. Uh, the reason I got this one is because it comes with a little piece of, uh, um, an extension, you know, for, to make it, um, to fit on your micro, you know, your microphones and everything on a certain inch, a certain, uh, um, <laughs> certain screw. So there is two different, uh, screw settings that you can actually put it on. So what I wanted to do is... How can I get this guy and put it in here? So I had to create a 3D print. And let me go ahead and uh, switch over to my table real quick and then we'll be right back in one second. All right, so taking everything out and I started creating, um, I went to um, uh, when it sliced, you know, created a new um, a printout for, to make this, to make it fit. A uh, lot of trial and error, trial and error time. But finally I got, you know, the correct, um, correct size so what I did is 
I put this on the on a you know on a heat you know I heat it up to a certain point and with some pliers I just pushed it in and it's it's in there it's not going anywhere so that's it, it's you know snug as a bug and the way I created this is for real nice and tight and it holds on to it so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you guys what I did I'll go ahead and put this on put it on and I have it adjusted to the side you know so it will be straight ahead and before I actually put it on I'm gonna screw it in and I'll just Put it like that, nice and snug as a bug. And then I can turn it on. And now I got myself a full table. Where I can put my board. Let me uh, adjust this little guy. Now I got myself an area that I can easily go. If I want to get closer, I can. I just you know get closer, adjust the camera, and easily be able to, you know, to do all the work. And if I want to go a little bit higher, whoa, see, look at that. <laughs> now this is a makeshift okay I just <laughs> um, there are some trial and errors and everything but if I want to go higher um, so I can do soldering I can you know I can still see everything without you know I can do an adjustment and I can easily be able to get into that points and do some solder go around into all the board without any problems I can just go and just let me just this out so you guys can see zoom this up and now I can go through the whole board if I want I can look at everything It just like I said, I can just do the whole the whole board without any problems, and I can uh, you know work with it. So um, I'll put the uh, you know the items that I've ordered for this thing. Um, I think for this camera is like about eighty ninety dollars or something like that. Um, this stand costs about twenty twenty bucks. Uh, I'll say about fifteen. I take it back. 15 to 17 dollars and this thing i'll give you guys the file if you guys want to do the 3d print into it um and it's uh very simple um and but yeah i just wanted to show you guys something that i've been been wanting to work on because every single time i try to do some work and i cannot um i cannot see if i'm doing if i'm getting any solder joints if I solder correctly, especially when I'm doing like very, very, very close, you know, um, very close points, making sure that this is actually being, um, it's being done correctly. If I'm not doing any, uh, crossing or, um, putting solder on two points that I can't see, it actually, it does a, a very good job. 
So, but yeah, that's all I got for this episode. It's a little quick one, but as always, thank you so much for watching this little arcade, and we'll see you next time.